Oh yeah, thanks for watching another video. This one is a continuation from my last video where I made a bow tie jig for the bandsaw. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. So I was asked to make two serving boards out of a couple of offcuts of beech and oak. They both had large cracks and checks running through them, so I thought instead of making the video solely about making the serving boards, I'd instead concentrate on making and cutting out and and adding the bow ties and showing that process really. Something that I've never really done. I've had little goes here and there, but nothing to this extent. So I thought it would be a good good video to film that instead of just making it about the serving boards. So I'm just using a bit of green tape just to help out with the marking process. This will give me a better visual of where the bow ties are going to be placed. And also when I'm using the router to route out the material, it'll give me a better visual uh, of to stay in my lines basically and not go over my marking knife line. So that's uh, it's a really good trick, really helpful for a lot of things really, the green tape or blue tape or whatever colour tape you want to use. <laughs> I'm just using a couple of small dabs of super glue and the activator just to hold the bow tie in place while I mark out. So yeah, one thing that I did pick up on using this particular marking knife, it's got a bevel to, to one of the edges basically, which made it slightly difficult to mark out certain parts of the bow tie. It wasn't a massive problem really and easily overcome but when I come to do this again I'll probably just buy a, a knife, a marking knife with two flat sides. The router bit that I used was a quarter inch straight bit and here I'm just setting the depth of the bit to cut just under the thickness of the bow tie. I'm sure there are probably better bits to use for this type of job so if you know of the right bit or better bit to use then you know leave a comment I'd appreciate it. This is just really why I had to hand and it worked well enough, I went nice and slow, didn't really go into the corners too much because obviously I'll be chiseling, chiseling those out once I've removed most of the material. So this part was definitely my favourite part of it, using the chisels, I don't use them that often, but yeah this was really satisfying. I didn't really use the mallet as much as I thought I would, um, they were sharp enough so I could cut right back to the marking knife line. I did have to use the mallet a couple of times, but yeah just a really satisfying part of the project. So the material I used for the bow ties is Purple Heart, so I think I'll give it a bit of a, just a nice contrast to the beach. And then in the oak one, which I did off camera, I used Walnut for the uh, bow ties. And if you enjoy the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you can subscribe and, and just do all that stuff, really. Uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it.
Another tip that I picked up while watching hundreds of videos about bow ties is adding a, a small chamfer to the bottom of the bow tie. So when you do glue them in place, it's just it, the glue then has got somewhere to escape um, from the bottom of the bow tie basically. Um, I don't really know how better to explain that. Um, but yeah, just adding a little chamfer just allows the glue to escape while you're hammering the bow tie uh, into the piece of wood. And notice I said small chamfer, and not like the one that I've uh, just given this bolt. I probably took a bit too much off there, to be fair. Then it's just a matter of adding the bow ties using a bit of tight bond or whatever glue you use, really. I used a block, an off cut, a block of wood, just to hammer the bow ties in evenly. Um, it's another tip that I picked up that if you just hammer them straight with the mallet then there, are, there is a good chance that they will crack so I've just used a, an off cut really just to make sure that I get a, a good even hammering basically uh, on the, the bow tie. So here I'm just cutting the bow ties flush. I did leave them a, bit, a little bit proud, so I'm just cutting them flush. Probably better to use a hand plane or block plane really for this uh, for this job. So another tip that I picked up was just to add a little bit of glue to the bow ties, and then sand without the uh, the dust extractor hooked into the sander. And if you if you have got any small small little gaps or anything like that around your bow tie then this should fill it, fill them in so like I said at the start of the video these are a pair of serving boards you've seen the beach one that I'm working on at the moment but I did make an oak one as well just out some scrap wood I just thought that doing a video about the bow ties specifically would be more interesting but if you want to see how I made these serving boards because there was quite a bit of work to them to, to clean them up and that then just let me know in the comments. As always thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Cheers.